Hi, I'm Jen Carey from the Thomas Street Health Center in Houston, Texas, and I will be presenting about our READY program. The Ending the HIV Epidemic Initiative recommends rapid initiation of ART for those newly diagnosed with HIV because an effective ART regimen is associated with increased viral suppression and reduced HIV transmission. Harris Health System, which serves the fourth most populated county in the United States, began its rapid eligibility and art dissemination and implementation program in 2019. And that is our READY program. READY uses a rapid antiretroviral start model to address gaps in care and retention. So in this presentation, we'll look at viral load suppression rates for ready patients compared with patients who received standard care. So an overview, overview of our ready program. Uh, in ready, eligible persons are those who are newly diagnosed or returning to care. Our ready program provides to each patient during their first visit 14 days worth of HIV medications. Um, and Service linkage workers who are the heart of READY uh, confirm that patients take their first dose of HIV medications through directly observed therapy. As I said, service linkage workers are the heart of READY. They accompany READY patients through the process um, and they ensure rapid completion of eligibility requirements and priority scheduling for the patient's initial physician visit. And this is intended to improve self-efficacy and retention and care. Also, both emergency departments at Harris Health can do routine opt-out HIV screening. So service linkage workers are also located in these EDs to provide a seamless process from diagnosis and directly to HIV care. So an overview of the READY process um, is three visits in general. The first visit, um, the SLW helps the patient complete or begin their eligibility process. Um, the SLW also um, makes sure that the patient gets same day labs, as well as a same day visit with a nurse practitioner who will prescribe medications. Uh, the patient also receives their first dose of medications, which is 14 days. Um, and the SLW confirms that they take their first dose um, through directly observed therapy. SLW also um, schedules the patient for an initial physician visit um, through priority scheduling. Visit two is if needed, um, if tasks from the visit one have not been completed. Um, and then visit three um, is the initial visit with a physician for HIV medical care. So for this particular uh, presentation, um, we define two populations, the ready patients as well as standard of care. And when I say standard of care, I mean patients who uh, were receiving care prior to uh, the start of ready. Our inclusion criteria is patients who are newly diagnosed. Uh, for the ready group, these are patients who are new to care between December 2019 and December 2021. For standard of care patients, um, that they were who were new to care between December 2017 and December 2019, so up to when we started ready. And for both of these groups, uh, the starting dates is the patient's first medication order date. And it's from that date that um, we calculated the times uh, to different points of entry to care. In terms of finding, these are the demographics for the two groups, for ready and standard of care. We also looked at um, time to get the first dose of uh, HIV medications, as well as time to the patient's first uh, physician visit for HIV. In terms of getting uh, medications, 11% um, of ready patients got medications on the same day on their first visit to the clinic. Um, this is versus 1% of standard of care patients. 36% um, of ready patients 
receive medications within 24 hours of their first visit versus 1% of standard of care. And 57% of ready patients receive their medication within three days or 72 hours of their first visit. And that's compared to 4% of control. For the MD visit, 35% um, of ready patients saw their physician, the physician on the same day as their first visit. Um, and this is compared to only 5% of standard of care patients. 6% of ready patients uh, saw the physician within 24 hours of their first visit. Um, and this is uh, compared to about 1% of the standard of care. And 67% of ready patients saw their physician within 72 hours of their first visit. And this is compared to 7% of standard of care patients. In terms of viral suppression, um, at baseline, all of the ready patients um, were virally suppressed versus 84% of standard of care. And then at the 12 months, months mark, um, 12 months of being on HIV medication, 98% of ready patients uh, were virally suppressed uh, and 99% of standard of care patients were also virally suppressed at the end of 12 months. Conclusions. Ready patients had higher viral load counts at baseline and at 12 months compared to standard of care patients. Ready patients are linked to care quickly after diagnosis, so their baseline viral loads may be, hot, may be lower at baseline. Standard of care patients increase their overall suppression rate after 12 months of taking ART, and this suggests the effectiveness of being in HIV medical care. Um, another conclusion is, again, SLWs are the heart of READY. Um, they, are, they play a key role in linking newly diagnosed to care um, and navigating them through the often complicated process of, um, of getting into HIV care. Another conclusion is that we really need buy-in from all the departments um, who will be playing a role in the entry to care process. For example, um, we often have same-day labs done. So uh, we have special agreements with the lab staff um, to prioritize ready patients.